Hello, crazy bird lady. What's on the plane today? <laughs> I have the kookiest husband sometimes. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, <laughs> crazy horse lady. The horses are, were, they're over there. And today, we are gonna work on that guy right there, as promised, because I told you guys yesterday that we have a little something that has to be done with Jarvis. I got everything in the barn. It is super, super windy today. And I'm gonna try to see if I can get my little microphone set up so I can put this a little bit far away and zoom in and stuff like that. But anyway, we'll see what I can do. So stick around and we're gonna work on his feet today. He says no. He says, I don't want my feet worked on today. I gotta go back to the ferry in a couple of days. I don't want my feet worked on and I wanna be out of this wind, which is exactly, <laughs> what he's decided to do. Hi Jarvis! Are you out of the wind? Yeah? Don't worry, we'll be in the barn later. I promise. Yes. <laughs> oh, I love it. Alright. Well, we're back. Uh, I had to take some lunch. I have some water. And I went out. Husband is, is mowing. <laughs> and I had to... Um, plug the pasture. Um, I will show you. Well, you guys know what plugging means, right? You have this little spiky thing and you tow it around and it puts holes in the ground like this. You know, like that. All the different holes. All the different holes. See, I like to have them. I think those are about an inch deep. But um, we just had a whole ton of rain yesterday. It rained all day. And um, the pasture, see these are, pasture needed to be plugged. And the best time to do it is the day after it rains. That way you can just tear up the pasture. <laughs> and that way, when I'm getting ready to seed, cause like I told you guys, remember, oh, isn't that just cute? Look at this. Look, it's just one little buttercup <laughs> amongst the many. <laughs> <laughs> but um remember what I said about the the little grass that was coming up well just that little grass overnight and then today we had all this beautiful sunshine um it's really starting to come up so hold on sorry about that I had to turn off the fence um where is she turn on the barn there we go. <laughs> now we have light. Okay. Um, well, hold on. He's mowing. Today's the day where we do the perimeter of the, of the fence on the outside. And then uh, we weed whack in between each one of the, the posts. So it's a very busy day today. I wonder if he just got stung. Either that or he just put his hand in poop. What happened? Poop water. 
<laughs> he got poop on his gloves. He's so anti germy. <laughs> oh well. <laughs> Alright, so um, I need to go get him. So we're gonna go get both of them in uh, just a second. Um, hopefully, you can't hear that because it's rather annoying. But this is a new halter. I think it'll fit Darcy. Um, I got it from my girlfriend. It's a side pole. And um, I'm not sure if this will fit Darcy or not. So when he's in here, because I think this is too small, it might be just perfect. I know I can make it really small. This is really big. I don't know, we'll see. Oh my God, that's so annoying. That's so annoying. Let's go get the boys. Oh, she caught me. Ah, she's got me. Go away. <laughs> I don't think he knows that my my uh, microphone is on. But if we can keep the boys over there in the little area where the cows were, it'll be easier to catch. Because Jarvis doesn't mind being caught. But uh, Darcy, on the other hand. Oh, there you go, Jarvis. You can pee while you're in there. <laughs> that way you don't pee in the barn. have you guys I can leave Jarvis I don't even know if you guys can hear me this thing's all tangled look at me I must not know what I'm doing ah look at that there we go now we have now we got stuff the grass is growing pretty good in here hello Jarvis we're gonna get Darcy first because he um he never likes to go anywhere you don't ever like to get caught. So we're gonna catch you first. Can I see this? No. <laughs> Can you see your nose? That's a good boy. I know. I know. Hey, don't you even think about it. Because if you actually opened your mouth, you and I would have a discussion. You understand? Not pulling on your face. Do that. People are gonna think you bite. All right. Okay, you two. Come. On. Come on, guys. Jarvis, you need to be on that side. All righty. Come on, Mr. D. You too, buddy. Come on, Darcy. All right. Darcy poop out here. Oh, Jarvis. You gonna poop? You done? Alright. What Darcy doesn't know is that there's food in his stall. So we're gonna put Darcy in the stall. That way Jarvis can see what's going on. So. Jarvis, back up, honey. Thank you. Mr. D, you go in. Thank you. Turn around. Uh, well, he's going to go over to his bucket. Hold on. There's a bucket over here for you. There's a bucket in there. There you go. There's a bucket. All right. No, you're not coming out. Go eat. <laughs> All right. I tried on that halter, and um, it didn't fit too well. The um, the buckles came really, really close to his eyes on either side, so it didn't fit very well. I didn't like it. So we're going to – I'll put it up for sale. <laughs> 15 hand stack, I'll put it up for sale. Um, but I have Jarvis, and he's in the cross ties. And um, he's just relaxing for the moment. I'm going to move the 
this over. Um, because I want to show you, see he can't move. I, I want to show you a couple things that the veterinarian, not the veterinarian, the farrier, um, what we found on our last trim. And um, it's just a new crack in his hoof, which I've never seen before, and I'm always looking at his feet. So that's the crack, and um, he took care of it, and he notched it out and cleaned it all up the best that he could. But I want to show you a couple things that I like to do um, to maintain something like that. And his feet are growing really, really, really fast right now because it's got spring grass, and you know hooves grow really super fast. So as you can see, let me turn. And Hi, buddy. I want to show you his feet. So these are these are draft feet. That's a draft nose. And um, I was really hoping husband was done because this is going to be a pain. I don't know if you can hear it, but his feet here. Now I have him on in the wash bay because um, it's just easy. It's a flat surface, but this is a crack. That's that crack that we, we saw. So you can see the, the Mustang roll and see what he did. Um, there's a gap right here. And it's not just because of this, um, but it's he made a, a gap personally uh, on here. That way um, it doesn't put so much pressure on here to make it split wide open. So this one, the crack goes up and as you can see, it kind of disappears here, but it could possibly, these are superficial cracks. These ones, they don't go all the way in. These are like more like summer cracks and stuff like that. Um, Cause he doesn't have anything like that on the other side. So what we're gonna do today is I'm gonna clean his foot out and I'm gonna make sure, I'm gonna make sure that um, there's nothing up underneath there because if there's a bunch of stuff in there, it could turn into white line disease and we don't want that. So I have over here, I have my little farrier stand as well as my two handy dandy, trusty, awesome radius rasps. Now these are awesome. Oops, it's upside down. And this is the, the radius rasp, as you can see. That's that one, and then I have this one here. And they're actually really, they're a good size. They fit in the palm of my hand, really, really easy. These are replaceable, so they slide in and out, and uh, you can replace them. I haven't had to replace them yet. I don't use them very often. I used to use them all the time. But you can go um, to evolution, or evo, evo hoof dot evohoofcare.com and you can buy yourself a set of these. They have a big magnet in the back so they stick to anything which is pretty cool. So this one here, this is like your regular farrier rasp where it's got the big diamond pieces on it and it's pretty cool. Alright and then this one, the white one, this is a finishing rasp but this one for me I kind of like it a little bit better than that one. That one does a good job but for some reason, this one is like a cheese grater. You know, it really, it does a fine job on giving you a really, really nice smooth finish on the hoofs. So I will show you how that all works. So let's see. Oh, I need a, I need a hoof pick. Do I have a hoof pick up in here? I do. I do. Okay, first things first, we're gonna pick out his feet. You'll be able to see what I'm doing. See your foot? Thank you. All right, so let's pick out that foot. Let's see what we got going on in here. Good boy. Cute. I know we don't have any thrush, but man, you got stinky feet. <laughs> I do wish husband was be able to be here and uh, video what I'm seeing here. So 
He's he's doing very good. Okay, so I take his foot, put it between my other foot here, and that way I can use my knee and see what's going on here. I can't really see a lot. Don't pull your foot, buddy. There you go. Good boy. Now I'm looking at this little piece here. I really wish you guys could see what I'm seeing. Um, actually, you guys can't even see. All right, let's put your foot down. Good boy. Foot side up. So there's his foot. It's upside down, but that's okay because that's the way I see it too. Um, that crack is right here. You see that? It goes all the way through. It's all right, buddy. You can stand there for a minute. And it goes all the way down. So I'm going to be cleaning all of this out. I'm going to take the rasp down and make sure that this is all level and flat. Other than that, his feet look pretty good. One more time. Come on. Thank you. Good boy. All right. So it's really dark. I'm sorry, you guys. And I even have the light on. It looks like there might be like a rock in there. I don't know. Does that bother your, your foot? I can't tell if that's a rock. Or if that's like an abscess or something. Top of his foot is too dark in here. Could be a piece of the hoof. That's interesting. He's right there. I'll show you to you in a second. All right, but let's let's take this one rasp. Yeah, let's get his. He's so good about keeping his feet up. And I'm using the this one. And uh, he'll stay up here all day long. This is like a big old pie plate. It's all right, buddy. So I'm just going to basically round, follow the shape of the what the farrier did. And because the shape of this is concaved, all I have to do is just, you know, do this around his foot. You're being very good, Jarvis. And that way I get the bottom and the side. You're being very good, buddy. All right, I'm going to let him take a break for a minute. There you go. Good boy. Good boy. Thank you. <laughs> Such a good boy. All right. I like this one because, like I said, this one just seems to do a much better job. Especially when I've got, like, a flare, like, on this side. It's like I can just cheese grate it off. Thank you, buddy. And he can relax just a little bit. I don't know if you guys can see that, the way it falls. It's like a cheese grate. So much nicer. It's always better to work from the bottom when you're doing your mustang rolls and so forth because that's like the hoof wall that's going to be on the ground now his sole is he is uh kind of thick on one side there we go nice and round 
Alrighty. We'll put a spoon down. Easy there, buddy. <laughs> Can't have you falling asleep. <laughs> okay, let's show you what I sh what I found. You can see all the shavings from this one. All these little shavings are from this one. And I want I should have probably taken a picture beforehand. But now you can see there's definitely weight taken off of that crack from here. And I've given it a little bit more of a Mustang roll here on the side. Now I haven't taken off hardly any, but I've made this breakover point a little bit more angled. So when he goes to take a step, it'll kind of roll a little bit easier. So I've gone all the way around, kind of reshaped this a little bit because it was starting to flare out. Like you can see his flare. It comes down the tubulars because see that this is a perfect example. A hoof is made of tubulars that grow from the coronary band and that's the coronary band. And these little, these little tubulars grow straight down and that's how, how they grow. And I can show you a little bit better on his back feet because he has scar on his, um, his coronary band back here. And you can see, actually see how the tubulars grow. See, they, they grow straight down like that. So these ones are growing like this from the coronary band here. Can you see what I'm talking about? So he has a, a big scar right here and this part isn't growing very well, but it's actually looking fantastic actually, much better than usual. Ugh, what a mess. So now we have, you have the tubulars and you understand how that works. You can see how a flare works and the tubulars will grow down. And then once it gets to a certain point on the foot, it grows, the, the pressure of the foot going down will go like that. So it'll actually flare out like my finger. Does that make sense to you guys? Can you tell? Can you see that? It goes down and then it flares out right here. It goes down right here. It goes boop. See? That makes sense to you guys? So that's not a distortion of the camera. That's just the way his foot is growing. It's flaring out here. But when you look underneath it, except for right here, I wish we could get that to go straight down. But if you look underneath his feet, um, it actually, his foot grows like that. And the inside of his sole, probably right about there. Okay, so see where the flare, I said right about here, but look at where his foot is. This is the sole where it seems to flare out a little bit here. Now I wish, but this is the way his foot is made. It, it's like that. So his feet will never have that nice, you know, round mark because of this edge here. You know what I mean? So this is, this is his foot. Now you can see there's a little bit of white and that is also the hoof wall. It's growing up just a little bit from the sole because he has to go next week to get his feet done. So the farrier will come and nip all of this off. I know, he just shook his tail. He'll nip all of this off all the way around. That way it's all level and he'll take these back up a little bit this is his heels. These are heel bulbs right here. This is his heel. And then this is the, the heel of his hoof right here. Those are on either side. So that's what his foot looks like. And you want to try to have a little bit of concavity on this foot. So if you put something here and here directly across something flat, you want to see a concave.
So we're going to give him back his foot, tell him he's good because he's getting sleepy. <laughs> so um, there's his foot. There's that, um, that crack. And we took care of it just a little bit, cleaned it out. And I was able to kind of give it a little bit round, see the difference between the two. So I'm going to do both his other feet just so he understands that um, when I do one, I'll probably do them all. Good boy. All right, Jarvis, I was going to give you a bath, but I think you've been in, in the cross ties for long enough. I think somebody's going to need a cake or something like that later. All right, I'm going to hook the two of you guys here together for a minute. All right. We're going to wait. I got a mow out here anyway. All right, guys. Well, thanks for watching. Thanks for sticking around. <laughs> I appreciate you guys coming back and watching all, our, all my crazy videos. Sometimes they're a lot of fun. Sometimes they're a little boring. Sometimes they're a little educational. So thank you for all your comments. You guys are so nice. I really do appreciate it. And I know the boys really appreciate it. And I'm going to try to get a little bit more videos like that. Um, I do have a product review that I need to do, and I was going to do it today while Jarvis was in the cross ties, but um, I changed my mind because he was in there for a while, and he was being so good, and I'm just humanizing him. <laughs> so um, leave always leave your horse better than they were when you first got them. So he... Was standing in the cross ties he was being really quiet really good and um so that's he's gonna have to go through that way so let's shut this up and he was really good so we left it on a very good note and he is better for it now so the next time when i bring him in he'll just walk right in and he'll be really really good and really calm just like he was already so i think i'm gonna go in And I'm going to go relax. <laughs> I hope you guys have a really great day. Enjoy the rest of your weekend. Uh, although this is probably going to be uploaded by the time the sun goes down. But you never know. I might get it out earlier. Thanks again for watching. Summerfield Farm and Draft Horses. Scared cats. You guys are scaredy cats. It's just daddy and the lawnmower. <laughs> I 
jarvis.